Hello everyone, this is Jeff, and uh, yes, I am still around. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but um, that's because I've been working on this. I thought that I would do the restoration of my centipede cabinet, uh, and then do a video, but it's been taking me a while, uh, a little longer than I thought, because there's a lot to do. But, uh, so I thought I'd give you sort of an update on... Uh, what I've been doing on the centipede cabinet. So, uh, I'll just go straight into it. If you haven't seen my other video, um, there's another video in there that talks about uh, a Devastators that I picked up uh, that was a surprise because it was actually a centipede cabinet. So I've taken this uh, centipede cabinet that was turned into a Devastators uh, which I found out was a, a game from 1988, um, a JAMA game, uh, and they took this, uh, they had changed the marquee, the bezel, the control panel, um, and they came in here in the back, and hopefully you can see this, I'll go ahead and just bring the light down, uh, but that is, that big, big board in there is the Devastators board, it's still in there, uh, and then they put in a um, an updated power supply, uh, which is not very updated now, although it's totally fine. Uh, nothing wrong with it. So I am using the power supply. I'm actually still using the uh, transformer block, only because everything's wired together. So I don't know if I'm going to continue to use it or leave it in there, but I don't really need it because this is JAMA, and that board right there is an arcade SD. Now I've tested a bunch of different boards. I have an old arcade shop board that has about 38 games on it. Um, got this arcade SD that has well over 100 games on it. And the 16-in-1 boards uh, who has, which has 60. And they all work in this cabinet, but I just can't help but uh, put an arcade SD in because it just works the best and has the most games. So that's what I'm putting in here, I believe. Um, and I have also, and the coin mechanism over there works just fine. Uh, the front of it looks like it needs some cleaning up, but the mechanism works. Uh, I'll have to get some lights in there. And uh, so, like I said, there's the JAMA harness. Um, in 1985, they uh, they started doing uh, uh, standardizing. They standardized uh, Japanese arcade machine something association. Um, so I never memorized it, but it's called JAMA. And uh, so then after that, they, they did this harness. But before that, with Centipede, like 1980, 81, 82, uh, and the rest of all of those before 1985, it was a hodgepodge of who knows what the wiring is, depending on the maker, if it was an Atari or whatnot. So without going into that too much, um, I showed you that on the inside here. And I also replaced the monitor. It had a geo seven uh, original centipede monitor in there the chassis could have done um, could have got it rebuilt or had it rebuilt or or re tried to rebuild it myself um, but I decided against that for now because the tube had a lot of burn in on it and I uh, wasn't really worried about the burn in but the colors were just bad I mean it just just wasn't good enough it just had a lot of wear on it uh, so I put this one in there I found this thing believe it or not, for like 50 bucks, and um, really happy with it. It's a VGA monitor, and I think it came out of a um, some sort of poker machine. Um, but I've got it in the cabinet here, and it's really good shape. It has a great picture, and uh, I don't need the light anymore, I don't think. So let me just go around here, and I will show you. Uh, actually, I'll turn on the machine. So down here, I have... Uh, I have the monitor wired in right here. It had a plug, uh, which was nice. So now when I, I can flip the switch and it turns the monitor on and the board at the same time, uh, which is great. So even by the time I get around here, the arcade DC is already there. Um, so I found a uh, really nice centipede marquee out there on eBay. Uh, it's in really, really good shape. Uh, and it's original glass, um, 1981, it says here. So, very excited about that. Interestingly enough, I believe uh, 7P came out in 1980. 
So um, this must have been one they made uh, the next year. And I was lucky enough um, to get this great centipede bezel from, uh, let's bring this light around here, hold on, off of my Facebook group. Uh, one of the guys out there, really nice, I just put it out there and um, so bezels in fantastic shapes, an original glass bezel um, and I bought it off of him for a very, very reasonable price so uh, props goes out to Robert there from my Facebook group. And then I found a control panel, I've actually found two control panels but this was the best one that I found out there um, and it had nothing but the Atari cone um, buttons and that was why I really liked it uh, because I wanted to get the Atari cone buttons and I'm working on getting those working. They actually work now but the, I'm gonna get the lights working on them. So and I've got a uh, um, control panel overlay uh, a new one because this one's in really rough shape uh, as you can see and of course um, there's side art which was not salvageable because they had painted it so heavily with paint. Um, you can actually see the centipede um, antennae right here in his head and uh, I don't know if you can see that but I can see Let's see if you can see that. See how you can see that that's pretty cool. Um, so I, I know right where the artwork goes but that tube right there has my side art in it. It just came tonight. has the control panel overlay. Um, really excited about that and uh, that'll be part of part two I guess. And I'll show you what I'm doing here. Since I put an arcade SD in it, it's got a lot of stuff. Um, this is the design that I came up with. Um, I've got a joystick here. I went ahead and drilled holes. I uh, drilled one, two, three, four holes. Um, and I'm going to patch this hole uh, and then put the overlay on it. So uh, you won't even know that was there. Um, but I felt like this was the best design. Most of the games have just one uh, button for jump or fire and then uh, some of them have two uh, and then there's the rare ones that have three missile command being one of them and I had to put in a third one which I gotta do something with the JAMA harness because it doesn't have that wire in there I might have to replace the JAMA harness itself uh, because we've got the trackball now these are just temporary bolts for now I've got some more on the way I'm gonna have some new buttons on the way uh, these are leaf buttons that came with it, just a micro switch just to fill the spot. Uh, this is a really nice uh, leaf switch joystick. I've got one with a red ball top and one with a blue that came with this uh, original, not original, but the Devastator's control panel because there was a joystick here, a joystick here, two buttons for each, uh, and it was a two-player like shooter game. But I love the, the leaf stick joystick. Um, it works really nice. It's an eight-way but it works really well for like uh, Miss Pac-Man. Uh, so as you can see, if I turn that on, hopefully you can see that. Uh, but it works It works quite well with Miss Pac-Man and all the four players, the uh, four-way games like Donkey Kong and stuff. I don't know if you can see that really well. Focus in on it a little bit better. But it looks nice, man. The colors are bright. Um, the picture is really you know centered on there really well I didn't even have to do much adjusting on this one um, I had another one that I'm going to use for my joust um, that is it just it was off the screen it was from another uh, poker machine um, and it just that particular type I just couldn't I'm gonna have to put a get a cap or something done to it to to bring it down so that it'll squeeze it in I might work with my joust um, but I wanted to show you the trackball. Now this is a three inch trackball that I had and the centipede came with a, um, a two and a quarter. And I'll show you real quick uh, because they actually sent the trackball with it but it needs to be rebuilt. Uh, here it is. So this is the trackball. Uh, that's the other monitor right there. Uh, really nice colors on it. Just couldn't get it to work quite right. Um, but I'll use it for another one. Got a great deal on that, too. So, I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't look that much smaller, but 
some of that the the new one in there is covered but this is this is the one that came with it but the bearings are kind of shot and i figured i'd save that and i wasn't really planning on keeping putting a new centipede board in there uh so i mounted this under here i got some washers under here so that the uh the ball fits just right in there and that it really rolls nicely uh and it works really well with the 16.1 and the Arcade SD. So I'll go ahead and show you real quick. Uh, let's see, I'm close to Millipede, which is actually my favorite uh, over the two. Um, and so then, so there's, this thing works really nice. Let's see if I can do that. Right, so it's hard to play with one hand. But the trackball rolls fantastic. Uh, so that's Millipede. And let me just show you Centipede real quick. As you can see, there's lots and lots of games. And they all play great. Uh, Crystal Castles is another one that's a trackball game. Arkanoid, Brick Breaker, um, and of course Missile Command are all trackball games. I think there's another one, Liberator. I don't know how to play that one, but it's trackball. Um, and then we've got Centipede. So there's Centipede. Uh, I know the lights are on, so there's a bit of a glare. Uh, and you may or may not be able to see that real well, but the colors are really nice on this. It sounds good. It plays perfect. The 16.1 on Millipede, the sounds are horrible. I'm sorry, I'm not a purist, but they're just really bad. They're way off. Um, and I've played it enough with my buddies that I finally got up to his house uh, that I just can't I can't do it <laughs> I gotta have the right sounds uh, and the arcade SD has that and the arcade shop uh, board has both of these as well which is why I was thinking about using it and missile command and crystal castles but um, this one just seems to work better so that's centipede that's how far I am right now um, you can see the coin door down here I mean it's really in, in pretty good shape um, I'd want to get something for this spot here, and I need a lock, right? Uh, and then it's got those holes on the side. Not sure what I'll do with those. I could always bondo them. Um, but, you know, the, the door needs a little paint, maybe. But it's in really good shape. And I got T molding coming. Um, like I said, I got bolts coming. I got all that stuff coming. But I just wanted to give you guys a, an update on the centipede restoration. So this is part one. Uh, marquee bezel installed um, a lot of the controls are installed uh, hopefully you know give me some give me some input on what you think on that placement there with um, joysticks buttons and whatnot but um, hope to get these uh, Atari cone working uh, I got some resistors coming I found out about that today um, what to do um, my Facebook group is really really nice um, where they can ask some questions and these guys know a lot more than I do. Um, but like I said, got the side art and the control panel overlay there. I'm going to be pretty careful on that, never put side art on. But uh, And then we'll see what happens on the inside here with uh, the boards and stuff. Obviously I'll take the Devastators board out, but we'll see about the uh, transformer. Not really sure. But uh, monitor's great. And uh, so that's part one of Centipede Restoration. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. If you have any ideas or uh, input, uh, please do let me know. And uh, I will be back with part two at some point. Talk to you guys later. Bye.